Hello my dear students, welcome to my YouTube channel that's Concepts of Chemistry. Before starting today's lecture, please do subscribe my channel. In the previous lecture, we have studied about the electronic configuration in the periods. So today's topic for the lecture is the electronic configuration of the elements in the specific group. So let me write something. Uh, there are firstly, I'm writing, there are all together there are all together 18 groups or you can say vertical columns there are all together 18 groups or vertical columns in a modern periodic table modern periodic table so I am writing the members of the same group the members or elements of same group will have similar valential electronic configuration similar valence shell electronic configuration what is valence shell the outermost shell the similar valence shell electronic configuration so due to which what will happen there will be the same number of electrons in their outer valence shell so they will have the similar chemical properties also due to which for them writing due to which they will have similar chemical properties similar chemical properties as the members of group will have the same number of electrons in their outer valence shell so we all know that during any chemical reaction the electrons of outermost shell of any element takes part so if the number of electrons will be same so their chemical properties the types of chemical reaction they will show will also same so the members or elements of same group will have the similar valence electronic configuration due to which they will have the similar chemical properties so now let me give you an example firstly i'm talking about the group number one the group number one let me mark the periods also i'm writing periods over here the period number one period number two period number three period number 4, period number 5, the period number 6 and the period number 7. Now, let's write the members of group number 1. The members are hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium and the Frenchium. So now, What's the electronic configuration of hydrogen over here? I'm writing it's 1 S1. Now it's S and the 1. So this is the general electronic configuration of the group number 1 with the numerical value over here, the numerical value to be the period number. Period number as I have already told you the period number also specifies the main energy shell number main energy shell number so hydrogen belongs to period number one that's why it's 1s1 now let's talk about the lithium now lithium will also be the s1 and it's a member of second period so it will be 2s1 
let's talk about the sodium it's the member of period number three and group number one so group number one stands for s1 and period number three stands for its 3s1 similarly the potassium belongs to period number four so it will be four s and d1 s1 because it's a member of group number one similar the rubidium it will be 5s1 the cesium it will be 6s1 and the frangium it will be 7s1 so you can write like n over here where n is the period number so that means each and every group will have a general electronic configuration like group number one is having is ns1 where n stands for the period number or the main energy shell number so it's some members are hydrogen, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and differentium with the configurations of 1s1, 2s1, then 3s1, potassium 4s1, rubidium 5s1, then cesium 6, 6s1, then finally frangium 7s1. So now let us write general electronic configuration of each and every group in the periodic table. I'm coming to the periodic table over here. So now just I'm writing the general electronic configuration of each and every group over here. Now, firstly, let me mark the group numbers. It's group number 1, the group number 2, group number 3, the 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, it's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and finally 18. So now let me mark the period number also. This is the period number 1. Let me take a dark color. Mm, this is better. Is the period number 1, the period number 2, the period number 3, the period number 4, period number 5, the period number 6 and finally the period number 7. So now I'm writing the general electronic configurations of all the groups. And I will specify period number with the uh, alphabet small n because n stands for principal counter number. That's the main energy shell and it's also the period number. So first of all, I'm writing for the group number one. The general electronic configuration of group number one comes out to be n s one where n is the period number and S1 is the general electronic configuration of all the members of the group number 1. Now let's come to the group number 2. It is N S2. Now let's come to the group number 13 first. It comes out to be N S2 N P1. Group number 14. It's N S2 and P2. Group number 15, NS2, and P3. Group number 16, NS2, and P4. Group number 17, it's NS2, and P5. Finally, the group number 18, it's NS2, and P6. Now, let's come to the group number 3 now. The general configuration for group number 3 will be it will be N minus 1 D 1 N S 2. The group number 4 will be N minus 1 D 2 N S 2. Group number 5 will be N minus 1 D 3 n s 2 group number 6 will be n minus 1 d 5 n s 1 group number 7 will be n minus 1 d 5 n s 2 group number 8 will be n minus 1 d 6 n s 2 group number 9 will be n minus 1 D 7 NS2. Group number 10 will be N minus 1 D 8 NS2. 
ग्रुप नंबर इलेवन विल बी एन माइनस वन डी टेन एन एस वन एंड फाइनली द ग्रुप नंबर ट्वेल्व विल बी एन माइनस वन डी टेन एन एस टू सो नाउ लेस कम टू द लेंथनॉड एंड एक्टनॉड सीरीज द लेंथनॉड एंड एक्टनॉड सीरीज बिलोंग्स टू द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द लेंथनॉड सीरीज द लेंथनॉड सीरीज विल बिलोंग टू द ग्रुप नंबर थ्री एंड पीरियड नंबर सिक्स so what's the general configuration of whole of the length net series i'm talking about whole of the length net series the general electronic configuration will be 4f 1 to 14 5d 0 or the 1 6s Now let's talk about the actinoid series. Actinoid series will belong to the period number seven and the group number three. And the general electronic configuration of whole of the actinoid series will be. It will start from thorium. Similarly, lanthanide series will start from cerium. Not from the exact lanthanide. It will start from the cerium. The filling of F subshell will start from cerium. and the filling of again 5f subshell will start from the thorium now it will be 5f 0 to 14 6d 0 to 2 and the 7s 2 so these were the general electronic configuration of all the groups that i have written and i have separately mentioned about the general electronic configuration of the lanthanide series where the filling of 4f subshell will start from the cerium and and at the lutetium the lutetium is here the similarly that for the actinoid series the filling of 5f will start from the thorium and and at the laurentium hopefully you got all the general electronic configuration it will help you a lot in calculating the hybridizations and all in the next further lectures so i hope you all understood today's lecture it was a very easy one if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of the lecture please do like subscribe and share this channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed